Now to that new wave of political enthusiasm among South Asian Americans. For the first time, they'll be represented at the top of a presidential ticket with Kamala Harris, who is half Indian. Today, Harris will visit the battleground state of North Carolina. South Asians in the state are the largest and fastest growing Asian voting bloc there, and their vote could make a big difference this November. Chanel Call traveled to North Carolina to meet those voters. Chanel, good morning. Hey, good morning, Vlad. We're seeing record donations, record turnout, and record representation from this community. Despite this surge in enthusiasm around Kamala Harris, almost all Asian Americans say they prioritize policy over identity, leaving this voting block very much up for grabs. In Morrisville, North Carolina, home to the state's largest South Asian population, Pari Sidhana is canvassing voters. Hi, are you Hari? This will be her first presidential election and the first time her culture is represented at the top of a ticket. India is a very important part of my life. What does this all mean to you? I just think the fact that we could have someone um, who looks like me in office, sorry, I'm like tearing up. Don't I did not sorry. expect to tear up. That resonance comes as representation is rising. Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Usha Vance also recently entered the national scene. The WhatsApp chats were blowing up. Over a cup of chai, local organizer Chevy Kanna Koneru says the level of engagement since Harris's nomination is unprecedented. We have had more South Asians reach out to volunteer with us than in all other election cycles put together. Chanel, <laughs> nice to meet you. And while many North Carolina voters we met were encouraged by Harris's identity. I am feeling so excited. Others say that's not enough. Somewhat a little, little wobbly, it's a little confusing. And that's because this community is not a monolith. While over 40% of Asian Americans lean left, South Asians represent at least nine countries and six religions leaving this demographic divided on key issues. Thank you so much. So we sat down with these three voters to learn what matters most. Who here is still undecided? Raise your hand. What does Kamala Harris need to say to win your vote? A ceasefire in the war. So if there is no ceasefire, there will be no vote. 24-year-old Larey Bawan says the humanitarian crisis in Gaza has shaped how many liberal Democrats view the Biden-Harris administration, especially Muslims. It's just really disappointing to see someone the same skin color as me want to also hurt people the same skin color as us. Like the majority of South Asian Americans, 79-year-old independent Ramesh Vora worries about the economy. How is that our money being spent? Right. Is it being spent for war? or is it being spent so that I got to the tax cuts? Issues like immigration have 44-year-old independent Ipin Valakuri leaning right. Uh, a lot of South Asians have all played by the rules. So when you see the southern border, that's a huge concern. How much impact can the South Asian vote have this election? Back in 2015, there were 31 elections in North Carolina that were determined by one vote. And so when we say that every vote matters and every South Asian vote matters, we mean it. Would you guys like to receive text reminders about the election? In North Carolina alone, more than half of South Asian voters are not yet registered with a party, which means if mobilized, they could be a deciding factor this November. Hopefully it'll make people feel more excited of being part of politics, being able to feel like they actually have a role. A sense of belonging. Yes, yes, absolutely. And in North Carolina, 80% of Asian Americans had never even been contacted by a party before 2016. But guys, that is changing. Both campaigns are telling us now uh, that they value the South Asian vote with the Harris campaign saying they are planning some specific outreach to this demographic. The There's piece so had so much piece. information yes. in that. That's why I yeah. think it's so important that we do them. A hundred percent. And I, look, so uh, not only are for people who may just imagine that uh, when we talk about South Asia, we mean just India and Pakistan and, mm -hmm. and Bangladesh. Yeah. But as your map points out, it's Bhutan, it's Myanmar, it's all these other countries, Sri Lanka. Also, Pari, who is a first-time voter, and we lose sight of that. Yeah. When someone is excited... Good point. 
is really a wonderful thing. And we're seeing a lot of enthusiasm online as well. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the, the memes, Lotus for POTUS. Yeah. And so Kamala means Lotus uh -huh. in Sanskrit. So that's yeah. the origin of that. And there's another one, Kamala Kisath, which in Hindi means we're with Kamala. Yeah. So the excitement's just not on this grassroots level that you saw in the piece. We're really seeing it play out online. The education continues, Chanel. Thank you. Thank May you. I say the Bob is Bobbin. The Bob is Bobbin. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much.